All right, Red Moon and I are gonna do a couple demonstrations. The first thing to know is right now we're face off to each other. On When you're thinking about Apache battle tactics, always think about stealth as being the, the number one thing you wanna do first. So this is the last place I wanna be, especially if he has a weapon and I have a weapon. So now we're in that even Steven category where he can knife me just as much as I can knife him if we're doing knife on knife dueling. Instead of me thinking, a lot of people get tunnel vision, they think I gotta go for the neck, I gotta go for the chest, the heart, the throat. That's not your first priority. Your first priority is gonna be get rid of this damn weapon. So if it's a snake, you get rid of the fangs. If it's a, you know, a cougar, you're gonna get rid of the claws, you're gonna get rid of the teeth. Anything that's gonna be a danger to you, get rid of that first and then you render them harmless and you're able to do the final attacks. So just nice and easy, because these are real knives. We're just gonna go nice and, I'm gonna have um, Red Moon just kind of extend it out. This is my target, and first thing you gotta focus on is you gotta know the ranges. So you should have a plethora of different sizes knife from the smallest one to the largest one, just so you can have your partner extended out so you know how far away I can be without getting cut up, all right? So here, I have a danger. He's, I'm in trouble anytime I get this position. So for right now, we're just gonna talk about range. I don't wanna fight here or closer. I wanna make sure I'm always behind the line here. Now, when I come for him, he still has targets here, which can be deadly as well. He has targets here, here, even before he reaches this main base and vice versa, he has the same thing. So preferably my blade is longer than his blade, right? So I'm in a good spot. I'm in a little bit better position as long as we keep all ranges equal, but you don't always have that choice. You don't know what weapon he has. So I'm just gonna show you, this is the demonstration. Make sure we're as far back as we can where I can still get him, but he cannot get me without him moving his body forward. So all he's just gonna do is just stand there with the hand out. And all my job is, is to figure out what my range is. I'm just gonna do it nice and slow. We have the underside and we have the overside. This is a nice target because again, it's gonna cause a disarm most of the time. This is actually a really good target too because I can get the blades there, but then he can get me here. So it's a little bit even Steven. It's a little bit safer at this position here for me. If I go here, this is a great spot for me, but again, he can come down and cut me as well. All that to say is the back of the hand, if you're trying to just to defend, uh, defend the target, is I wanna come out from the backside. If I'm in right hand here, or if I'm left hand here, that's gonna be my primary target to get it with a downward chop or get it with a, a, a outside chop. If I come on the cross angle, that's the crosswind angle. If I come down the downward wind, the upward wind, this is also the crossword wind. And again, if I have a longer object hitting him, I have a better advantage. He's gonna have to work out of it. And then he'll switch hands. So again, just know your target, practice right hand and left hand. I got the target here. That's my, my number one choice here. Number two, number three, number four and we're just using long blades so you can see it a little better on the video but that's just on the slashing yeah, i still so. have my stabs here so. i still have my stabs here my stabs here so I'm, I'm not saying that you only have to do a slashing type action which is called the lightning because it comes over quick you also have your piercing bison which will come in here and then he'll do the same thing so i'll have red moon do it to me he has a he has a shorter blade he's got to visualize hitting the back side the top side the bottom side and then the inside target. And it's just giving him awareness. So this is like the basic one drill we wanna do. Then you gotta work the drills from that point on. So you shouldn't be learning all of this stuff in here if you don't need to understand this here. I would love to be in here after he drops that knife, right? So all we're doing right now is just the fundamentals. So practice that on your own.